Welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance Block Diagram. In this video, we'll cover an overview of Reliance Block Diagram. We will assume that you have viewed our previous video on getting started with the analysis tree prior to viewing this video. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the Reliability Prediction Parts table in our drone example analysis. Note that the functionality explained in this video is identical in both Reliance FMEA and Reliance Kappa. In this demo, we are assuming you are using an unmodified version of the example analysis. If you are not, you can click Revert Example in the sidebar to remove all of your changes. To view the block diagram, click To Diagram in the Analysis Tree pane. Reliance will auto-generate a block diagram based on your analysis tree. Let's use the splitter control to resize the block diagram pane to make it larger. By default, Reliance generates your block diagram in the vertical layout we see here. If you prefer, you can change this to a horizontal layout by clicking the drop-down arrow of the edit icon and selecting horizontal. Now, Reliance will show the same diagram, but in a horizontal layout. To make custom changes to the block diagram, click the edit icon in the block diagram toolbar. Reliance will now open the block diagram editor. Here, we can add and remove block diagram items, customize the appearance of items, and customize the layout of items. To add items to your block diagram, Simply drag a symbol from the tray on the left and drop it on the diagram. We'll select the circle symbol from the tray and drag it next to the ground controller. When you release the mouse, the label for the new item will be highlighted for you to enter a name. Let's enter camera and press tab. Next, we can change the appearance of any block diagram item by using the properties pane on the right. For a new camera item, Let's change its fill color. To do this, make sure that the camera item is still selected on the diagram, click the fill drop down, and select the red color in the color picker. To apply this change, click apply at the bottom of the color picker. Also, let's make the fill color of this item gradient by clicking the gradient checkbox next to the fill color in the properties. Notice that there are many other styling options available for both the block and its label in the Properties pane. Now, let's connect our camera item to the quadcopter drone. To do this, click the connector dropdown and select Orthogonal. The block diagram will now automatically enter connection mode and will show all available connection points. Using your mouse, start your connection at the bottom connection point of the quadcopter drone by clicking and holding the mouse button down when the connection point turns green and drag it to the top connection point of the camera. Next, let's rearrange the diagram. In the toolbar, click the select button. This will take us out of connection mode and allow us to select items in the diagram. Now, let's line up the motherboard, ground controller, and camera items visually. Next, the analysis tree and block diagram have a unique relationship. By default, Reliance keeps the analysis tree and block diagram in sync. This means that any changes to your analysis tree are made to the block diagram as well. But, once you make custom changes to your block diagram, Reliance no longer syncs your block diagram and your analysis tree. This enables you to create a diagram in any form that you desire. So, once your block diagram and analysis tree are no longer synced, changing the analysis tree will not change your block diagram. Similarly, changing the block diagram will not change your analysis tree. For example, adding an item to the analysis tree will not add that item to the block diagram. So, Reliance provides a way to manually link block diagram items to analysis tree or other block diagram items. With the camera symbol selected in the block diagram, click the Item button below the Type dropdown. This will show the Select Item dialog that will allow you to link a block diagram item to an analysis tree or other block diagram item. For now, we will not do this, so we will click Cancel in this dialog. Next, 
Let's walk through how we can add custom images to a block diagram. With the camera icon still selected, let's change the type dropdown from circle to image. This will automatically bring up a file selector where you can select the image you want to use. Navigate to the image you want to add and select it. The background of the block diagram item will now be replaced with your custom image. Next, we can export our block diagram as an image in multiple formats. To do this, select the export dropdown in the toolbar and select the image type you would like to download. Finally, let's save our changes by clicking Save and Close in the toolbar. On the first save of our block diagram, Reliance will show a confirmation message prior to saving. This message informs us that after saving, the analysis tree and block diagram will no longer be kept in sync. We'll click Yes to save our changes. Now, Reliance will return us to the Reliability Prediction Parts table where we can see our customized block diagram. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions and to obtain pricing and purchasing information.